Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our final personal break of the day. You guessed it, we have another Upper Deck 2021 Series 2 Hockey Hobby Box here to check out, this time for Tom L. Now, Tom L is from Minnesota, but more importantly, Tom L did get a Braden Point Day with the Cup special insert this past weekend during our live stream. That was a very nice pull. I still personally need to pick that one on up for my full set that I'm trying to make. The Day with the Cup this time around, that insert set does just have six cards. Last year, Series 2 had eight cards. This time is six, but hopefully we may get some additional cards in the Extended Series Hockey set that's coming out later this year. But I'm curious to see if we can get some maybe back-to-back -back magic here for Tom. Let's see if we can find another Day with the Cup insert by going ahead and snapping us into the corner and let's get started. Now I was doing the math on it because I was like, how rare are these, th these things actually? They are one in a thousand packs is the stated odds on the checklist. And so I went ahead and I divided, you know, a thousand by 24 because that's how many packs there are per box. And it came out to like 41.6666667. So one in basically 41, 42 boxes. And that's about a little under one every two cases. I don't know. More than that. I keep thinking for some reason that cases are 24 boxes. Definitely rarer than that. But yeah, so one in 40, 42 basically boxes is how often you'll find a day with the cup. So those are definitely pretty rare. Let's see. Like I said, let's see if we could do it again, though. Seems like we are starting off the relic here. Rookie materials, Nick Robertson for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So this is actually our first jersey relic of the night. They don't seem as common as I feel like they used to be in other sets, although most of the rookie relics aren't super sought after, so not bad. Always a welcome bonus. But interesting to see that they're seemingly more rare than they used to be. I feel like even just last year's Series 2, we were almost getting one just about every single box. Occasionally you'd find a box that didn't have, but now it feels like it's more often to find a box that doesn't have than one that does. Marky Rookie, Retro, Bowen, Byram. So the day with the cup are closer to one in every four cases. I don't know why I keep getting it stuck in my head. I think I'm used to Upper Deck products, like cases being like inner cases. Oh, we have a red laugh though. Wow, that's nice. Basically a case hit Marky Rookie, Red, Opeachy insert. We, are, we did see one per case during our live stream of two cases last weekend. And it's laugh, the regular version of this card. We sold out at $10 a piece, so very cool. Red parallel. Seems like the more I talk about different weird facts, the better the pulls get, so I'll just keep rambling. But I'm used to Upper Deck having inner cases, so in my mind, for some reason, I'm thinking like an inner cases Series 2 is 12, so full cases must be 24. That's not how it works. Feels like this is the only product from Upper Deck that doesn't have inner cases. It's just a case and, like, that's it, which I appreciate better than having to do the math on, like, inner cases. I just feel like just make it... The small ones cases, I don't know. I don't understand why they're kind of separated like that. If anybody has any info for me, feel free to leave that in the comments. Why do they make inner cases? Because no one else really does that. Well, I say that and yet I've thought of an example. Panini does it, but less frequently. Like I think Absolute Basketball, it was a 16 box master case, two inner cases of eight. But for the most part, Upper Deck is the one that does it pretty much themselves. I don't know. We have a Ty Smith Young Gun here for the Devils. I've heard he's been taken off recently, so that's cool. Maybe I'm getting confused with another Devils rookie, but I thought they said Ty Smith. I've been reading a lot of headlines recently, trying to keep myself informed with the hockey world, especially since I don't really have the chance to watch games at all anymore. Blue Marquee Rookie. If you missed that longer video earlier for Christy, I was talking about how Aaron Ekblad is now out for the rest of the season, did fracture his leg and require surgery. So best wishes to him and his recovery. Uh, Portrait's rookies, Keith Lennox here, and Variant Francais, David Kreschke here, for the Boston Bruins. Go ahead and get that sleeped up as well. And also, of course, I've mentioned in every video, but of course the Buffalo Sabres are continuing to lose. Hopefully... They figure something out. Player-wise, team-wise, management-wise, ownership-wise, something has to change drastically. Oh, looks like we found our missing French variant from Chris's first box earlier, because we have a second French here, variant Francais, Andre Burkowski here for the Avalanche. All right, back-to-back -back French. Sure. Bonus French, we'll take it. All right, here we go. Next pack. Interesting. 
interesting. We have Portraits Rookies, Joseph Wool. Now we did have in that box that was missing a French, we did find a bonus Young Gun. And that was a regular Young Gun, by the way, not even like a French clear cut or anything like that. Marky Rookie, Delandria. So I'm wondering, I hope that will not be the case, but part of me is like, hmm, does that mean we're gonna have a missing Young Gun in this box? Did they swap? Does it work like that? Sometimes it feels like it does. Of course, it all is just random pack outing uh, by machine sorting, but really makes me curious. I hope that isn't the case, but I will have to say I wouldn't be too surprised if we end up missing a young gun here. Still holding out hope though, we will find another day with the cup. We have young gun number two of the box. De Rosy here for the Panthers. Circling back to the top of the Florida Panthers. Yeah, hopefully Ekblad recovers. It's always unfortunate when you see someone taken out like that for, with an injury. We have our first canvas of the box, Carter Hart for the Flyers. Marky Rookie, Ryan, uh, Ryan McLeod. We have seen a lot of laugh stuff tonight. Jake Ottinger, Marky Rookie. He was so hard to pull, I feel, in Series 1. Like, I feel like we didn't have as much of a hard time as some other people were having uh, with all the boxes we opened. I still feel like we're seeing one, you know, occasionally two per case here on the channel. Some people were saying they found, like, none or one only per case. Brandon Hagel here for the Blackhawks. But definitely, we're pulling so much more. To be fair, they're not young guns, they're just inserts. But even, like, random SPs, like the canvas program of excellence earlier now we have the red case hit parallel i mean that's a 40 card set here we could have gotten a red could have gotten 39 other red marquee rookies and we pulled laugh you know his dazzlers is pretty nicely priced portraits we haven't seen a portraits parallel quite yet out of series two now that i think about it but we're seeing a lot of laugh stuff he's chasing us now that his young guns aren't here hey young gun canvas shane bowers for the avalanche nice always nice getting a bonus young gun We'll see though if that tends to if that ends up being our sixth of the box rather than a true bonus. Two, actually three. All right, so our regular young gun count is now at three. And yeah, but laugh, I feel like he's chasing me. We just found a rookie relic of his the other day too. Jack Eichel canvas and a Kurashev dazzlers. Definitely not a bad thing. I'm just finding it very odd. I feel like every time a product comes out that I get to open a lot of, there is a certain player that I end up pulling a lot of. Um, it used to be for me, um, <laughs> used to be for me personally when I would just buy like hockey retail, no matter what product it was that I got out of retail, whether it was series one or just artifacts or just MVP, anything, I would always pull, I'm trying to remember a hundred percent because I, I I'm, I'm having a name come up on my head, but I feel like it's not right. Um, but it was a player for the Canadiens. My mind is saying Jeff Petrie, but I don't think that's right. Calvin Thurkoff here for the Blue Jackets for regular young gun number four. And I want to look it up. Montreal. Montreal Canadiens. It's giving me stats. All right. I don't know that he plays for the Canadiens anymore, to be honest. Is there a Wikipedia article I could look at? This might be harder than I'd expected. All right, this is proving to be, I've done zero effort, but I feel like I'm wasting too much time here, so I'm just gonna stop. But there was a, I don't, I feel like it wasn't Jeff Petrie, but that's the name that's coming to my mind. But there was a player for the Canadiens I would pull out of every single product. And I was like, what? Makes no sense. Oh, we have a second relic here, Jason Robertson and Ty Delandria, rookie dual materials. Or Dallas, that's cool. Seeing about one rookie dual material per case. Seeing some fancy stuff here for Tom. I don't know, but it was crazy. I'd always pull that player out of anything. I was like, why do I keep having this dude? I don't understand. Seems like series two, the person who's chasing me is laugh. We have Marky Rookie Joseph Wool. And the last pack here for Tom. 
We have another young gun. We have Steven Lorentz here for the Carolina Hurricanes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a count for our regular young guns. All right, so we did end up with five here. But we did get the canvas to bring us up to that six. So it does seem like the boxes swapped the young gun for a French. Uh, seven base young guns in Chris T's first box. And then two base French variants here in Tom's box. But let's go ahead and do a recap. Still found some very cool pulls regardless of that one missing regular. Did have a canvas Shane Bowers for Colorado. Of course, our two Frenches here, Kreshke and Burkowski. Also had that red Opeachy Marky Rookie Lafreniere Parallel. And we did find two relics, both Robertsons here. Uh, Jason Robertson on the duel and Delandria for Dallas. And the single Nick Robertson for the Maple Leafs. So that's very cool. Two relics, a red laugh, and two French parallels, as well as a young gun canvas in this last box of the night for Tom. But thank you so much, Tom, for letting me open up another box of Series 2 hockey for you here on the channel. Really hope you enjoyed the opening and love all of these new additions to your hockey collection. Of course, all of you out there watching, I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button, comments for me, leave those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I finally wrap everything on up for the night, I do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you guys, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. We really do appreciate it. Do have six Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. And we also do have nine Gem Mint fans. Alberto M., Anthony Basileo, Chris Rivers, D. Von, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatric Geek, Jake Rhino C., Joe Howe, and Michael C. But thank you so much to all of our channel members. Really do appreciate each and every one of you. And all members do have their names shown on the screen at the end of every video. But that does it for me here tonight. I will, of course, be back tomorrow with new product opening of Panini Prism Basketball. That will be very exciting. And then also do have a handful more Series 2 hockey personal break. So more hockey and, of course, Prism Basketball coming tomorrow. But that does it for me here this evening. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye!